Hi Capricorn, thank you for joining me today. So this reading is for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Capricorn for the week of April 13th through to the 19th. It is a general reading and as such the messages will not resonate for everyone so be sure to check out your Moon and Rising sign readings as well. I am using the Gilded, sorry, the Legacy of the Divine Tarot and I have pulled one card plus a clarifier and I'm also reading the card at the bottom of the deck. Um, as the overall energy for the week and I've also pulled an animal speak rune. So let's see what you have going on this week Capricorn. Okay so you have the energy of the four of swords for this week and it is being clarified by the five of cups. And at the bottom of the deck, okay so we have the nine of coins at the bottom of the deck and our animal speak rune is the eagle, which is spirit vision. Okay, so Capricorn. So you have the nine of coins as your overall energy for the week. And the nine of coins, this is about um, luxury and self-sufficient. So this is about you gaining financial gain and recognition through your own endeavors and hard work and you being self-sufficient and um, enjoying solo pleasures, enjoying doing things for yourself and, and achieving success on your own. So that is the energy that you have for the, this week. This is also about you surrounding yourself in an environment that is harmonious and comfortable and that allows you to focus on intellectual and spiritual pursuits as well. So this is your energy for this whole week of, of um, April 13th through the 19th. However, you have the Four of Swords energy here as your weekly card. So the Four of Swords energy, this is a card about retreating, um, requiring rest and, and renewal and recovery and, um, and, and solitude from the world. So this is about you, you stepping back from the world, um, that you need a break. So you may have found that you've been overexerting yourself a little bit. And, um, and so this might be a good time for you to also step back from your busy life and, and distance yourself because you, you need to take a bit of a break that you've been, you've been working really hard. You've been, um, doing a lot to, to achieve the success. And, um, and again, and, and even the, the nine of coins, again, it does represent, um, it does represent your solo pleasures, um, self-sufficient financial gain and luxury, but it also does represent you being, so you're surrounded in an environment that is harmonious and comfortable, but that also allows you to step back and, and retreat a little bit and focus on intellectual and spiritual pursuits. And perhaps with that four of, four of swords energy, that, that requiring that rest and solitude and a bit of a retreat, um, that's something that you could focus on more versus the 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 financial gain and the financial um, pleasures because you have the five of cups clarifying that four of swords energy and five of cups this is a card of of focusing on loss and regret um, focusing on grief feeling abandoned feeling unloved because cups energy is water energy it's your emotional energy it's things that make you feel emotionally fulfilled so you see in this card, there's these three broken cups down here. They were filled with water. They were filled with that emotional fulfillment and they're broken. And so she's mourning the loss of these cups, but she still has two cups in her hand. She still has two cups that are filled. So not all is lost. Um, this could even be about you, you know, you tapping in into your, your spirituality or even meditating a bit in order to find that, that happiness in order to find and appreciate what it is that you still have. Um, so that is something that you could be going through this week, Capricorn. So you have some positive energy over the week, and this will lessen this negative feeling here as well. Um, you've been working really hard to surround yourself with pleasures, but you're finding that you're, you're thinking about and dwelling on things that you, you lost in order to achieve those things. And, you know, maybe it might be time for you to go within and, um, and reconnect with yourself to appreciate what you have and find 
you know, and, and kind of t get back in touch with, with what it is that, that brings you that sense of purpose and joy in your life. And then you have the eagle here. And the eagle is about spirit and vision. Um, it's, it, the, the, the eagle has, it, it's, a, it's a bird of prey, it's one of the largest birds of prey, and, and it has very acute vision. And um, so this is about you coming, like being able to see um, things that you couldn't see before. Uh, it's, it's a sign that when, when it shows up in a reading, it's giving you the message that it's time for, um, for you to acknowledge your power. Um, because you're, you're kind of going to be in the spotlight a little bit. Um, so it's about you acknowledging your power and that other people and, and to, and to you know, kind of put yourself to a higher standard because not only will you be doing that to yourself, but others will be doing that and expect more from you as well. And that you will succeed in anything that you take on, um, even if there is the possibility of failure. This is about you rising to a challenge. Um, it's about you looking at things from a new perspective and again going within like that and focusing on what you have versus what you've lost. That's also seeing things from a new perspective. And by taking a different course of action for new health um, or a new direction in your life for your, for your life to unfold. Um, this is also about you becoming aware of your potential. Eagle is about you becoming aware of your potential um, because, again, eagles can see so much better than humans can, so their, it, their appearance reflects new vision. So even things that you weren't very, that, that weren't quite clear, any paths in your life, any opportunities, um, any ventures that, that were presented to you, um, if they weren't very clear, they will become clear in the coming days. And um, so, so you will be able to see those paths open up more clearly to you this week, Capricorn. So Capricorn, this concludes your reading for the week of April 13th through to the 19th. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you are notified when the next readings are available. And Capricorn, have a fantastic week and take care.